The problem is really that, especially in the modern day, we have this idea that life, a well-lived life means that all our mundane wishes should be satisfied and that we should get as much physical and emotional stimulation and pleasure as possible. That means a good life. It's not true. We are here to learn. We are here to grow up. The Buddha said, when he talks about ordinary people like us, he, he calls us the childish. And so the whole of the spiritual path is to grow up and become an adult, not to remain childish. Little children, when things go their way, happy, happy, smiley, smiley. The minute anything goes wrong, they don't know how to deal with their emotions. They're screaming and shouting and it's like somebody's pulling them apart with red hot pinches. But it's only because they drop their sweet on the ground. But they can't contain their grief and their happiness and their anger. Their emotions are naked. And for us, the tragedy is that we grow up and inside, we are still four years old, emotionally. We cover it up. The word persona, from which we get personality, as well as the idea of persona, means a mask. It was a mask which was used in, in, um, in Rome and in, in Greece as uh, the actors didn't show their faces, they wore big masks to symbolize the, act, the, the character that they were playing. So it was the mask behind which the actor um, hid. It was the mask which they showed to the world on the stage. And so this is our personalities. We all project the personality which we want to have people believe in and which we begin to believe in, which is our big tragedy. But inside, however outwardly sophisticated we might think we are, inwardly there is this little child. And so we have to grow up and put ourselves through school. And the school is our life. Life is teaching us lessons all the time and whether or not we learn those lessons or whether we have to go back and do that year again depends on us. And where better to learn than where you are right now with who you are right now. Your family are a wonderful basis for practice. Your workplace, your colleagues, your friends, your activities, all of them, everything, we can learn. You know, just, even just to think of others, each person that you meet is at that time the most important person in the world because it's the person you're with. His Holiness the Dalai Lama is wonderful at this. You know, everybody who meets him, even if just for a second, feels transformed because in that moment they know that he's completely just looking at them. And when he takes their hand and looks in their eyes, they know that in that moment, just even just for that second, he, only they exist for him. With kindness. Totally non-judgmental, but seeing the person, not the persona. So you see all these politicians and um, you know, churchmen looking very embarrassed. Why is he smiling, smiling? Um, you know, because he's not relating to them as Cardinal this or you know, the president of that. He's looking at the person behind all that with love and compassion and total open acceptance. Each of us can do this, you know. When we meet somebody, in our mind, our first thought should be, may you be happy. Doesn't matter who. 
then you'd be happy. Because everyone wants happiness. And get out of our own way. So therefore, our daily life, our families, our children, our relationships, our workplace, our colleagues, our friends, people, our neighbors, people we like, people we have problems with, all of them are helpers on the path. Each one of them. Every breath we take is a practice. Nobody can say, I have no time to practice.